Thank you. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for the invitation and uh, the opportunity to um, talk to you today about Albania. Uh, I think um, uh, this is a timely discussion to have, um, uh, given that, in my opinion, um, Albania is still at the crossroads from which um, the country could um, finally uh, advance on the track towards the European Union, or else it could go back again um, in the direction of a dead end. Realistically speaking, um, I think it could go either way. Uh, the outcome at present is um, mostly in the hands of, the, um, um, of Albania, especially of the two um, major political parties in Albania. That is the um, uh, Democratic Party, led by Sali Berisha, um, and the Socialist Party, uh, led by Edi Rama, whose fierce personal um, power struggle has become a permanent and problematic characteristic of the social, economic, and political uh, life in Albania ever since um, uh, the fall of communism in the early 1990s. Um, on the one hand, there are signs to suggest that Albania could succeed in um, getting its house in order and catching up on the already sizable reform agenda. Um, to give you such, some examples of, um, of such signs, um, for one, since November 2011, the two main Albanian um, political parties have resumed political dialogue within parliamentary structures after a prolonged standoff um, that dates back to the uh, June 2009 uh, general elections when the um, socialist um, opposition contested the Dem Democrats' victory and embarked on um, a boycott of parliament. Since um, November 2011, the two main political parties have traded this sort of um, no-talk policy um, with a joint commitment to the um, um, much-needed reform process that was effectively paralyzed for almost two years um, uh, during the uh, political crisis, um, obstructing also Albania's membership bid. Um, now, of course, um, um, having the two main political parties return to work is important, given that, um, as has already been mentioned, um, Albania has already failed twice to um, receive um, a recommendation for um, um, uh, for candidate status by the European Commission, both in um, um, 2010 and 2011, precisely because of its poor um, record uh, on reforms. Um, moreover, these bipartisan efforts at uh, reconciliation between government and opposition have been accompanied by um, a new vocabulary, including words um, that were previously um, um, unused, such as dialogue, consensus, debate, inclusive talks, and references um, to the EU membership objective. Two years ago, um, links between the national reform agenda and the European integration imperatives could rarely be found. Uh, controversy, intransigence, uh, intolerant politics, um, um, the exclusion of other um, national political parties and relevant stakeholders from decision making was rather the, the norm um, um, and not uh, was it, uh, rather than the exception. And protests or violence uh, were also um, um, not uncommon. Remember the four people who were killed um, um, at an anti-government rally in January 2011 or the demonstrations relating to the Tirana mayoral elections in May 2011. So the change in rhetoric is also an encouraging development. Last but not least, uh, since the political agreement between the um, socialists and democrats, um, in November 2011, the country has been very keen to demonstrate that it means business and that it is able to produce uh, visible results. For instance, on March uh, 21st, um, Albania government um, has adopted, with the active involvement um, of the parliament, an action plan that specifies uh, the measures, time frames, uh, resources and responsible uh, national institutions that will be used to address the European Commission's 
12 key priorities for the country. You may recall that in November 2010, as has already been uh, uh, said, the Commission presented Albania with a to-do list of um, 12 crucial reforms, including the need to ensure the proper functioning of Parliament, to appoint an ombudsman, reform at the electoral law and public administration, strengthen the fight against organized crime and corruption, <coughs> and reinforce the protection of human and minority rights. Implementing these provisions became the sine qua non condition for any potential moves forward um, by Albania towards EU membership. To give you an idea of where we uh, stand, the country has adopted um, um, last September the Ombudsman in a consensual a consensual and transparent way. However, for the second part of this priority, um, there have been neither hearings nor voting in the Parliament for the appointment of uh, constitutional and high court judges. It is uh, a speculation, but perhaps Albania is waiting to um, swear in the new president at the end of July, of this July, in order to cross out this point, uh, as it is the job of the president to, to make such appointments. Albania has also ticked off from the list uh, the priority related to the um, adoption of, uh, the, of any pending laws requiring a reinforced majority. Uh, the last pending legislative act um, um, was uh, the one on administrative courts and it went uh, smoothly through the parliament on, uh, three May, on 3rd May this year. Likewise, the country has made headway on the electoral reform and the uh, review of the Parliament's rules of procedures, as well as in the area of uh, rule of law and fundamental rights. The action plan is otherwise helping Albania to stay focused on what, when and how it needs to be done. Additionally, as I have um, just um, mentioned, Albania has managed to elect its new president uh, earlier this month. In Albania, the president is elected uh, by the parliament in a process that um, extends over five rounds for a total of five weeks. Um, in the first three rounds, the um, winner must receive a three four, fifth uh, majority vote. If uh, the parliament is unable to elect the, um, a candidate within the first three rounds, then it can be elected in the next two rounds by a simple major majority. Um, at the moment, that means 71 out of 140 um, um, votes possible. If the five rounds fail to produce a president, then national elections must be held within 45 days. Given the country's uh, history with elections, uh, all the electoral contests in, um, in Albania since 1991 fell short of meeting high international standards. The recent presidential elections were somewhat of a test. In the end, the process saw for a change the two main political parties meet in order to, uh, to talk to each other. Um, there was no violence or major conflict, and the outcome was the uh, election of Bujar Nishani, former Minister of Interior and Minister of Defense, who was put forward by the Democrats and was elected by majority vote um, in the fourth round. I think he received uh, 73 votes. Uh, all these are, of course, um, small baby steps in the right direction. But with perseverance and courage at the level of the um, um, domestic political elite, uh, these baby steps have the potential to, uh, to become a leap forward in, um, uh, in the integration process. Having said that, on the other hand, it is quite clear that the European Commission will insist on Albania achieving a critical mass of concrete results across all 12 key priorities, um, beyond the mere political will or work in progress. And this will only be possible if the two main Albanian political parties shed their backward habits and behavior. Will they raise up to the challenge? Well. If they don't, um, Albania's development and uh, progress on the European path will remain hostage to, to these uh, party's old antics uh, for still some, come to, some time to come. The time frame is also an issue. 
um, the country is set to, to hold um, general elections in June next year. And as everywhere else, um, elections can turn out to be quite divisive um, events and not a particularly opportune moment to undertake um, uh, substantial reforms with long-term payoffs. As such, the momentum created by this um, uh, recent positive development in Albania should be harnessed now, before the campaign for the 2013 general elections kicks off, and preferably in time for the publication of the next Commission progress report this autumn. In other words, concrete and substantial reforms must happen soon. Uh, bearing also in mind that the Parliament will go on holidays over the summer. The next few months uh, could thus um, somewhat answer the question of your event, uh, establishing if paralysis and or progress uh, will define the EU-Albania uh, relations for the foreseeable future. As mentioned above, um, uh, for several priorities, a lot of the work has already been done, and uh, this work must now be completed. A case in point is the uh, electoral and parliamentary reforms, both of which were actually supposed to, um, to be concluded before the start of, uh, of the presidential elections. I think the deadline was 24th May. However, uh, on the electoral reform, the ad hoc committee was not able to reach agreement on two issues. The first refers to the administration of the electoral process with the government and opposition disagreeing on, um, on the um, chairperson of this committee, whether it should be an independent, non-political person uh, or otherwise. And the second issue uh, relates to the appeal process or the right of a minority of the members of this uh, central electoral committee to initiate an audit in case of alleged fraud. Uh, here, the Democrats and Socialists disagree on the number of members that can call for, an op for the opening of the ballot or for recounting of the votes and so on in case they suspect foul playing. Similarly, the reform concerning the Parliament's rules of procedures um, also got stuck on two issues. Uh, the first was the um, speaking time, uh, where, where with the opposition... Um, wanting to limit the speaking time for the uh, Prime Minister and the Cabinet Ministers in order to bring it on a more equal footing uh, with the other um, um, MPs, with the time allotted or consented to the other MPs. And the second uh, problematic issue is the secrecy of the votes, the bone of contention here being uh, that the Rulik coalition and the sp Speaker of the Parliament um, um, can decide uh, when the votes should be closed or open. And of course, uh, um, this is a situation which the opposition sees as leaving too much room for interpretation and unpredictability. Thus, the remaining hurdles on, on these two um, uh, reforms are not exactly politically sensitive and are not necessarily um, of interest to the smaller political parties. Uh, but hinge, once again, um, on the ability of the two main political parties to cooperate across party lines uh, in the interest of the country, uh, rather than uh, falling uh, over again into the trap of incessant uh, personal battles. The successful completion of these um, uh, reforms would not only score Albania hard uh, points, in preparation for, for this autumn, but it could also help to demonstrate that um, the Albanian political class is becoming more mature, especially since the um, uh, presidential, presidential elections were, according to some commentators, a lost opportunity to prove just that. Uh, in that case, uh, although the, the two main political parties initially, initially pledged to um, uh, elect a consensual president, in the end they failed to, um, uh, to cooperate on the task. The socialists did not officially put forward any candidate and used the consultations that were held with the Democrats to pose conditions on issues that were not directly related to the um, uh, negotiations over a candidate. Uh, in their turn, the, uh, the Berisha team um, delayed the start of the consultations with Rama until after the Chicago summit, um, which was uh, a few days after the first round of um, 
um, of, of elections. Uh, and this despite the, the call of the uh, socialist leader for, um, uh, for an earlier meeting. Now, um, this is it. Uh, we have a president. Uh, it is not a president uh, um, elected consensually, but rather the result of a major majority vote in the parliament uh, in which the socialists did not even um, participate. At this point, we hope that, um, the, the, that he will put himself outside political influence and play a constructive role, especially since he was um, one of the few ministers in um, uh, Berisha's cabinet who did not engage in high-level uh, political confrontation and generally tried to keep a, a low profile um, in, uh, in his activity. Um, I guess um, we could get a better sense of his contribution um, based on how he will behave in September, October, in case the two main political parties do not manage to agree on the critical mass of reforms uh, until then. But hopefully we will not get into that situation. Of course, um, apart from these more parliament-related um, deliverables, the EU is also um, quite resolute about um, what can be called good governance criteria. Um, such as maintaining the rule of law, um, an independent judiciary, um, protection of human and minority rights, effective uh, and efficient public administration, and the fight against corruption and organized crime. All of these um, are reflected primarily in the second part of the Commission's list of uh, priorities, uh, and such issues um, have been increasingly highlighted by the EU um, in its approach towards the Balkans enlargement. Croatia was the first uh, to go through this uh, rigorous course and um, um, all the other aspirant countries in the region will have to, uh, to follow suit. Um, as the case of the big bank enlargement countries um, uh, or the experience of Croatia uh, with chapters 23 and 24 demonstrates, um, these are all difficult areas of reforms uh, which cannot be effectively addressed within um, um, a couple of months' time. Um, Moreover, the EU requires the aspirant countries to, to demonstrate a solid track record in, in these fields. Thus, Albania, which faces significant shortcomings with regard to, to the independence, transparency and accountability of, ju of the judicial system, as well as with regard to the fight against organ organized crime and corruption, uh, to mention just a few of the problems, um, has still a lot of work to do and a long way to go, uh, far beyond the next few months, um, before it can fulfill the Commission's priorities in this respect. However, there are a series um, of specific outputs um, which Albania could provide by September with reference to these issues in order to improve its chances of moving forward on the EU track. I could um, mention, for example, three reforms items. These are um, the, the revision, first, the revision of the legal framework on high-level public officials and judges concerning their unlimited immunity. This is the most uh, visible part of the anti-corruption priority, and um, there seems to already be a general understanding um, between the uh, two major political parties in Albania on the substance uh, of the amendments needed here. Uh, they actually held consultations on this topic earlier this year, uh, but no result was reached because um, um, the constitution would need to, to be changed. Workshops seeking to draft the legal amendments have been postponed several times and the outcome um, draft law will have to be adopted by three-fifths majority whenever it is ready. The second um, reform item could be the High Court law. Uh, this falls within the efforts to strengthen the rule of law and reform the judiciary. A final draft, I think it's not um, yet written or produced, um, and its adoption um, will require, again, three-fifths majority in Parliament. Uh, finally, the, the, the third item I wanted to mention to you is the civil service law. Um, this is needed in the, in the reform of the public administration. A draft already exists and has been the result of broad-based consultations. 
but will need to be adopted. And again, as, all, as the previous uh, two um, reforms um, will require three-fifths majority vote. So these are some concrete issues that Albania could do until the autumn, and it remains to be seen now whether um, it will address them in, in due time. But apart from, from all these priorities, one thing that um, uh, I want to emphasize and um, which I hope uh, comes through uh, my presentation is that Albania's problem is first and foremost a problem of domestic, political, um, uh, domestic politics um, and more generally a problem with the quality of democracy. Bitter party competition at the core of the Albanian uh, executive, the inability of the ruling uh, political elites to cooperate across party lines uh, and to see beyond their uh, own political interests has led to persistent failures to create a, an agency for reform and, con and continues to, um, to risk impairing Albania's uh, EU prospects. And this occurs also, also because the main um, Albanian political parties can rule unchecked and unsanctioned by, by the people and by civil society. The popular leverage remains too weak for the Albanian elites to, to be held responsible, too weak to have an impact on decision making uh, or to create expectations about policy outcomes and elite behavior. In other words, a democratic congruence between elites and, and masses is, is missing in this country. To fix that, uh, political elites would have to abide by the rule of law and would have to take ownership of the reform agenda. But at the same time, people uh, would have to place demands uh, on their political leaders to respect uh, existing laws and perform according to high democratic standards. Until that happens, the risk of stalling or rolling back on important achievements attained over the past two decades um, will always be there. Even if uh, Albania pulls it off this time and shows a series of concrete results that somehow satisfy the Commission. This is why I think that um, in parallel to all these efforts to fulfill the Commission's uh, priorities, Albania should strive and the EU should push uh, also for substantive aspects of democracy that seek to strengthen bottom-up channels of um, social accountability and civic in involvement in uh, policy making. This have received less attention from the EU so far in the notoriously elite-driven process of EU integration and more should be done um, to address pending issues that prevent for instance, civil society organizations or media actors from being able and capable, really, to influence uh, the government and decision-making. Likewise, the role of the Albanian parliament uh, as a direct representative of, uh, of the people should be strengthened in the legislative process. For instance, the, the, the parliamentary reform currently under discussion in Albania cannot be seen as the ultimate reform step because it doesn't go far enough um, in strengthening, for instance, the oversight function of the parliament or the openness in, 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 in accomplishing uh, an open parliament to interest groups in society. <coughs> also, the emphasis on regional cooperation needs to intensify. It is, of course, um, not easy to imagine proactive uh, policies aimed at regional cooperation when domestic politics are polarized and contested, and this is not only the case in Albania. But regional cooperation remains fundamental, uh, as demonstrated, uh, for instance, in the results achieved in fighting collectively organized crime um, or in exchanging and learning best practices um, across a variety of fields in the region. And Albania certainly has also has certain advantages over other countries in the regions in the region which face far greater internal and external uh, complexities. Albania does not have border disputes, does not face uh, problems with uh, uh, ethnic minorities uh, domestically, and has a basis to build bridges with the other countries uh, uh, in the region, uh, uh, given that many uh, Albanians live abroad. 
um, in the vicinity, I mean, uh, in Kosovo, 95% of the population is, um, is, is Albanian. Um, the same, some 25% in the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, 5% in Montenegro, and, and so on. In fact, um, um, I read an interesting uh, proposal the other day in the press um, encouraging uh, Albania, Kosovo, uh, Macedonia and Montenegro to, to build a new and per permanent cooperation structure aimed at boosting economic and political relations between these countries. This would be a Balkan Benelux type of, uh, of cooperation that would create a market for um, with some 8 million people, uh, with, with free movement of goods, services, capital, people, and um, uh, would have immediate benefits instead of, of, of waiting for, for EU accession. But since I, I don't want to take too long, um, to conclude my presentation, I think um, um, we should not forget in the end that uh, Albania's search for EU membership is happening against the background uh, of an increasingly difficult economic um, crisis, which is not only undermining the European um, project, but it is also affecting the, the, the way the European Union um, interacts um, with, uh, uh, with, the, with the Balkans, including Albania, and it, it affects what can realistically be expected from the EU. Uh, the past couple of years have seen many examples in which uh, EU member sta states had interfered in the process uh, and raised obstacles, and not always for reasons which had a lot to do with the issue at hand. Mm -hmm. Thus, although the EU remains committed to enlargement uh, to the Balkans, and even if Albania will make progress on priorities and on uh, required reforms, the member states' appetite for enlargement when they are currently more preoccupied with internal domestic affairs needs to be factored into the prospects of whether Albania will move forward and, and when. Um, the outcome of today's uh, uh, General Affairs Council meeting um, um, could offer a taste of um, of the mood among member states and, uh, and, and, and hopefully um, it's a positive sign. Uh, on this note, I think the only thing we can hope for is that Albania does its utmost to prevent losing another year or more and that in turn the, the, the EU tries very hard not to get cold feet. Thank you very much. I look forward to, um, to your questions. Thank you very much.